Hi there, Taurus Gemini. Welcome to your reading. So today we're going to be talking about love. And this could be a connection that you're currently connecting with or you will be connecting with in the near future. The roles could also be reversed. So just take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't. All right. So let's get started here with a little overall energy. And let's get started with these two shells. Because like the passion. Oh, dear. Um, if you if you don't know this person yet, then I do feel like uh, you're gonna get immediately physically attracted to this person. So just like oh goodness, you may even shiver a little bit. <laughs> but um, if you already know this person, then I definitely feel like there is a lot of passion and attraction between the two. Um, maybe even for some of you, maybe there was already some sort of physical stuff going on. Um, take that if it resonates. But I definitely feel like there's a desire for that. Uh, I don't get it though has a like a player energy or like that is all that it has like for this connection that it's all about just a passion i really don't get that i just feel like it's just so intense and it could even feel like it's a passion but it's not just physical it's about um you know the things that this person makes you feel you know it's about also a spiritual connection and i really feel like there is a really strong and beautiful bond here um i even i'm also he hearing um bestie not necessarily that this person is your best friend but it could be that this person does feel like a best friend and has this energy of a lot of support and a very good friendship that is brewing between the two for some this could be someone uh from work and um but it doesn't have to be but i do feel like there is also a big focus on your career and maybe this person is also focusing a lot on their career but you have here this gold shell so i do feel like a lot of um a lot of prosperity is coming your way but i also feel like this person feels like gold you know and um i'm even hearing the i i even know, don't know if it is gold that the song is called but by jake um like that one like see you shine let me see here uh jake golden hour yeah close um, but that song could mean something to you. Maybe go listen to it. Maybe there are messages for you there. But, um, oh, and even stars like, we were just two lovers. Let me see if I can see the lyrics here. Because I do feel like there are messages for you there. Oh, I can. Um, it was just two lovers, sitting in the car, listening to Blonde, falling for each other. So I really feel like this just, uh, like, it just sparks around the two of you. Um... But I really feel like maybe you've already gone on a date. I also feel like your first date with this person could be very significant. Um, you slow down time. Yeah. It's like, I even feel like whenever you, the two of you are together, there's this feeling of like the world outside just stops existing and like the time stops and it's just the two of you. Um, this is beautiful. This is really beautiful energy. I do feel like there could be a bit of hesitation, especially with this passion energy. It's like, is it, is it all just passion? Um, but I really don't think that it is or that it won't be, you know, if you don't know this person yet. But let's see what we have here. Oh, we have flirt. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Anything else? All right. So, ooh, we have religious factors with very soon. That is definitely like the, um, <laughs> you know, that emoji with like the, the hand covering the mouth. Like, <laughs> I feel like this is your guys. Like, very soon something is about to happen. Um, but I definitely feel like with this release your ex, maybe in the past you dealt with someone that was a player or, um, things revolved a lot around passion or there wasn't trust, enough trust or something. And you may still have some wounds and fears around, um, that previous relationship that is still kind of preventing you from moving forward in this connection. But I definitely get a little bit of like go, going with the flow kind of vibe for this, uh, for this reading, for this connection. And I definitely feel like they're, again, flirt, right? There is a lot of passion between you two. You may flirt a lot with each other. I feel like they're very playful. Um, and if you don't know this person yet, then you're definitely meeting them very soon. But I even feel like with this very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And I feel like this is about those hesitations and um, not necessarily a back and forth, but I feel like these fears are getting in the way and are preventing you from fully diving into this connection. And we even have your like past life relationship you have known each other before and look at that they're just like ripping their clothes off man um but i i definitely feel like there is a feeling of it's more than passion like you have this past life energy of a very strong spiritual connection and i just feel like it's so beautiful and you're just so connected so i'm very curious to see what this very soon is about 
and what your guides are cooking up. But it could be that, you know, very soon you could have the possibility to express your feelings or very soon this person will express their feelings to you and it's like, clearly decide if you want this to be just, you know, about passion or if you do want to move this forward into something bigger, into something else, something different. But let's see here. What do we have? So, oh, this could definitely be a friends with benefits. Look at that. We have the three cups. Uh, and like three cups with flirt and passion. Uh, that is that is smelling a little bit like friends with benefits, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be that, you know, there's that energy of you two being friends, of you two just getting to know each other. Um, there we go with the, like, going with the flow and just seeing where things go. But I do feel like you're still, there is a bit of a third party energy. Not necessarily has a person, but I do feel like it is coming in, has a has pain, has the past person energy still being attached here, but you have the opportunity to cut it off. Yeah, look at that, fears. And it's like fear of getting this into a commitment and then just, you know, you sabotaging this or things just not going the way you expected them, of you ruining something that you, the two of you were building, you know, of you ruining the friendship or something. Um, there are a lot of fears, but you have the opportunity to cut these fears and to take a leap of faith. And I do feel like it will be a very beautiful leap of faith. Um, especially with this temperance, I've, you know, recently started associating this with Twin Flames. It doesn't have to be, but if you resonate with that, then definitely take it. But I definitely feel like you have a very strong spiritual connection. I do feel like this person is also very healing. They could be, they could even have this like ethereal energy to them. I don't know, just very, wow, <laughs> you know, I, I feel like, I feel like you feel very comfortable with this person and I feel like you feel very safe and very, um, it's that thing like the world stops whenever you're the two of you are together and um, I feel like that is such a beautiful thing and it's like don't don't let it go it's like I really I really have a good feeling about this oh the fool okay yeah we like this so two of cups or pentacles six of swords all right we have strength so you could be dealing with a leo not necessarily but we have two of swords death the magician all right, I'm starting, I'm starting to like where this thing is going. We have the lovers, the hermit, and five of cups. No, oh, so this person, um, you could actually be mirroring each other because maybe this person is also struggling with some um, fears and insecurities and some pain from the past as well. But um, just to get the signs a little bit away from this, so we can give you a little confirmation. We have Leo, we have Virgos, maybe even a Leo Virgo. Um, we have Gemini, we have Scorpio and that's it and we have aries here but this is showing up as your energy but yeah um but even with this scorpio it's making me feel of like mars and scorpio so it's like your sexual energy is like ah oh, this is so good <laughs> um like go check out my 18 pick of cards because damn i really feel like this would be a fun connection to do those 18 plus readings but today we're not here for that but I definitely feel like the energy is asking for it, though. But let's get started here with a little bit with your with your side. Actually, let's start here with this, with the overall energy, past, present, and like near future, what's happening next. Um, we start here with the two of cups in the past, and now we have the four of pentacles. And I kind of get this feeling of this could have been like when you first started meeting, um, meeting when you first started connecting with this person and... and um, I don't know, talking to them, getting to know them. It's like the connection was really there. But now, Four of Pentacles, like there's a bit of holding back. And I even feel like it's almost like with this Two of Cups, you're just like going out for drinks and you're just randomly bumping to each other or something, whatever, whatever the scenario was here. But it's just like, it was something very casual. Nothing, like no big deal. I don't think either of you had expectations of this. But then it turns out it's like you're each other's dream fulfilled. And I really feel like, especially with... Um, like this girl even has like a um a cloth or or you know something like that and it's like i feel like you weren't fully revealing each other but uh you also weren't like being too i don't know hidden i don't i don't think again i don't think you were expecting too much you were like screw it you know i feel like you were just like going with the flow and seeing where things go um but now i feel like feelings may start to get in the picture and it's like oh shit what do i do that here uh, and with this Four of Pentacles, I definitely feel like there is a strong energy of, um, there is a strong energy of things coming to light 
both positive in terms of like feelings for each other but also things from the past and it's it's so interesting as well how i like i'm seeing this has like your um i don't know your path to each other you know it's like here on the extremes we have the five of cups and two of swords so for your side a bit of confusion making a decision clearly decide what you want right so making a decision here um possibly about like am i going to stay in the past in in the maybe casual energy or even with this you know past relationship and the pain that it caused or am i going to transform and allow this connection to evolve for something else um and i definitely feel like that is happening because we have here death and then the magician so you're transforming this confusion and you're transforming i feel like the way you see this connection and allowing this to happen i even feel like with this magician you could be the one to initiate some move here um, even with the Six of Swords, you could be the one to initiate some sort of new beginning in this connection. Um, but I definitely feel like you're understanding that, my God, this person may be my wish for me and I really want to have this in my life. And especially with the Fool coming up. Um, oh yeah, you could definitely be the one <laughs> initiating something here. But especially with the Fool coming up, it's like, you're just ready to take a leap of faith here. And it's so beautiful because with this full card, it kind of looks like he's dancing, right? So it's almost like you don't even care where this is going. It's just like, I'm so happy with you. I just want to see, I just, I just want to evolve this. You know, I just want to give it more attention and effort and, and give it more. And this deserves more. You know, I feel like you're getting into this place of this is no longer enough. I need more. I need more of you. I need more of this connection. And so I feel like you're... I really feel like you could be the one here initiating the move, initiating the uh, transition <laughs> in this connection, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there could also be some distance or you're like, I don't know, going on a vacation together or... Um, yeah, that's really all I'm getting is like, you're, there's either a distance and that distance is being shortened or um, you could be going on like a vacation together, a weekend getaway, something like that. Um, but I definitely feel like things are moving forward in a very positive way. Um, for this person, we were talking about how you were kind of going towards each other, right? And even with that thing of like the mirror, it's like you, you I really feel like you're strong spiritual um, soulmates here. And again, twin flames, if you want to call it. But um, I am getting more of like a very strong spiritual soulmate than a twin flame energy. But just, yeah, take whatever resonates. But I really feel like in this person's case, like we have the Five of Cups in the Hermit. And I feel like maybe for a few months now, um, they have been, I feel like in this place of maybe not like sitting in their sorrow, but I feel like they've been isolating themselves a little bit, maybe, uh, you know, with this gold and the prosperity and everything in career energy coming through. It's like maybe they were kind of avoiding their feelings through work and just you know just focusing on work just focusing on themselves and letting go of the outside world uh, i really feel like there was something here um possibly around a third party that um i really feel like it was devastating for them but i feel like they weren't fully ready to look into this two of cups but then you showed up and you showed them the two of cups right so i really feel like this person is starting to not isolate but get wisdom out of this situation and i feel like they are very soon it's almost like they're allowing themselves to grieve over something that didn't happen maybe they were kind of holding on to someone and holding on to um a situation to to a relationship but now i don't think that they are doing that anymore i feel like they are um really stepping into this energy of like the lovers it is about a decision but i don't see this decision has um i don't know going back into a past person or isolating anymore because again you're kind of coming towards each other right that's the way that i'm seeing this and I really feel like, especially with the lovers, like, there is this union here. I really feel like they're choosing you. They're choosing this connection. So, again, if you feel called to make a move towards this person, definitely, you know, feel free to do that. Uh, six of Swords, I don't know if I mentioned it, but that is about, like, six weeks. So, within the next six weeks, you could make some move here and things could level up. We'll pull some more clarification, but with this Strength heart card here and their overall energy, I feel like they are very protective of themselves. But again, I feel like they're slowly starting to come out of the of their home. It's almost like I see this hermit has, you know, this is this is PJs, <laughs> and this person has been in PJs or just work mode all the time, just closed off in the office, closed off in their home, and now they're slowly coming out um, and and starting to see the world. Because I feel like you push them to see the world and you push them into 
believing in this connection, believing in love. I do feel like there is still a lot of fear from both sides, I feel, but more from this person. So whatever happened here between them and a past lover, I do feel like it was really, really tough um, on them. Again, there could have been like a third party, some cheating involved, but it was really, really harsh on themselves. And um, I really feel like they're, I feel like they lack, they, they stop trusting the energy of love you know they stop trusting people they stop trusting just anything outside of them and it's like the only person i can trust is myself so um i'm just gonna trust myself and i'm just gonna protect myself but i feel like it got to this point where they were protecting themselves so much that it got into a bit of isolation but i definitely feel like they now are coming out of the shadows so that's good let me see that six of swords where are we going all right, so we have the Knight of Cups with the Tower. I love it. To the Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. Look at that. Ah, I'm freaking out over here. I love, I love love. Oh, I love it. All right, but we even have here the Two of Wands, Ace of Swords. So uh, I definitely love this. It may be sooner than the Six of Swords. I feel like it's quite unexpectedly, but if you were the one for making the first move here, um, it's just like, <laughs> I feel like some it's like one day you're kind of drunk and you just text this person like hey man i freaking love you <laughs> let's do something about this um but i really feel like it's gonna come out of the blue um i don't think i don't think you're expecting to tell them this i don't think they're expecting you to make the move but there's clearly some movement being made here with the knight of cups towards ten of pentacles towards a commitment towards something really really beautiful um i feel like at first it may be a bit tempted and it may be a bit shy but it's definitely leading towards this beautiful um, affirmation of love and affirmation of the feelings that you have for each other and a new beginning in this connection and to be honest I don't I don't really see this um, like ruining the friendship that you already have I really don't see that happening um, and actually like usually people say to marry the best friend you know to marry your to create a friendship first and then you know get into a relationship because I really feel like this is coming from a place of friendship and maybe from a place of like friends with benefits but I feel like the friendship is there you know the foundation is there and now I feel like the feelings started to get involved and you're like, oh shit. But it is actually good that the feelings are getting involved because it can lead to this beautiful 10 of pentacles, like marriage, commitment, at the very least, family, if that is in your plans, you know, it's like, this can be so beautiful. Ah, we love this. And it's so good because like the past readings have been kind of intense. So it's good to see, you know, good vibes. But let's post some messages. What would this person like to say to my tourist Gemini's? Our relationship is not a priority right now. Um, oh my God. I want to do things to you that will blow your mind. Man, please go. <laughs> please go watch those 18 plus readings. They're freaking good. Um, and I really feel like we're, your connection asks for it. But um, with this, our relationship is not a priority right now. I feel like there's even a fear of making it a priority. You know, of it's that thing of like holding back. Uh, I feel like you're both doing that. But I feel like from this person's side, it's like, if I make you a priority, then I'm going to allow myself to trust you and I'm going to allow myself to get hurt again. So um, I feel like it comes from that. It's not from a place of I'm not really interested in you. I really don't see that at all. So let's see here. What else would this person like to say? Um, I've stopped myself from reaching out so many times. I really feel like this person also wants to admit their feelings to you, but I feel like they're scared. Uh, I'll see you in my dreams. How beautiful. Can we take this to the bedroom? My God, this person is crazy about you. Uh, I'm seeing other people. That is interesting. I didn't pick up on that. So if I didn't pick up on that, it's because they're kind of useless. <laughs> it's like they don't, even, they don't even care about those people. But it's almost like... Um, I feel like they're coming from, from this place of, well, we're not in a commitment. I'm single, right? So I'm going to see other people. But I feel like they they don't even care about the other people. So it, and I even feel like they may go on a date and then they just ditch that person or something like that. I really don't um, see anything serious with this other people. <coughs> Sorry, with this other people. Um, and even with this hermit, I feel like they could be ghosting a lot of people. Also, they could be very attractive, and so they could have like a lot of people like asking them on dates or something like that, or striking up a conversation um but i feel like they're not interested at all because they are definitely interested in you so let's come here this distance is killing me look at that so um i really feel like 
for some of you, there could be some distance. That is your confirmation. But I'm afraid to lose you. I know I need to step up. And it's like, I want to step up this connection, but I'm afraid to lose the friendship. So I feel like there's also that. Let's see here. We have, you should know I'm toxic AF. I promise I won't hurt you anymore. I'm serious this time. Interesting. Um, to be honest, I feel like this could be like a past energy kind of sabotaging things here a little bit. Um, but I definitely feel like there is a feeling of, it could even be about like this, I'm seeing other people, it's like, I need, I want to keep my options open because we're not in a connection, but it's you, but I'm sorry if that hurts you, no, there's a bit of this feeling, and again, I really, I really feel the need to reassure you of like, these people don't even matter, these people are nothing to me, um, but yeah. Uh, I also feel like with this, you should know I'm toxic AF. They could bring themselves down quite a lot. And uh, I feel like they're also still kind of going through this lack of trust. They could have some trust issues um, because of their previous relationship. So, oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. He's not a problem anymore. Like the past person, not a problem. The, the, the people that they may be seeing, not a problem. Um, forgive me. And like sometimes I see this has a little... Um, I don't know, excuse and like them just saying pretty words. In this case, I really don't think that that is the case because I really see them kind of ghosting a lot of people. Um, I was so stupid. You also have forgive me. Um, I could look at you all day, all night, all the time. They may have also said something that kind of hurt you. They're apologizing for it. All right. You're my one true love. Look at that. We also have here, let's tango. So they want to go on a date. And I'm scared of this. See, they're really, really scared of this connection. Let's pull some advice for you. Oh, we have another one here. Uh, so we have fun times. And, and look at that. Bottom of the deck. Uh, mask. Shy. Holding back. Insecurity. Yeah. This is like the whole, the whole thing of this connection. Um, but I really feel like it is safe. We have fun times. Destruction. Sour manifestation family and mystery to be honest i feel like they're hurting more than they are letting in um that could also be like uh there could be something going on with their family either either something actually going on with their family like some family issues or something but it could also be that they are afraid of you meeting their family um or like something like that it's like something about family that it's very closed off um I just i don't know do whatever you want with that information but um we have here distraction and sour i really feel like whatever they say that may hurt you it's almost like to try and push you away because they care because they they love you because they have feelings for you i know that's not good but um i really feel like they think that you are uh like also seeing other people and that you don't really care about them that's why i feel like they're controlling their feelings so much i really feel like they think that this is unrequited that um they're the only one with feelings here and so it's almost like they're already kind of grieving over this connection as well. And I also feel like that's why they're seeing other people. It's because from their perspective, all you want is the nasty. All you want is the fun times, right? And the passion. Um, and you don't want a connection. You don't want a commitment. So again, clearly decide what you want. Do you want commitment? Do you want just the casual thing? I feel like you need to decide that. Um, and to make, be clear on that as well and then like move forward in whatever direction you feel called to do that but know that this has an amazing amazing potential for it to be something amazing for it to be the very long-term connection family even growing a family together um, and I really feel like this is a new cycle for the both of you you can really help heal each other and um, you're really truly aligned with each other let me see is there anything else that we need to know about this connection anything else you want to tell us Ugh. so we have attraction pay attention to the red flags that is something that needs to be healed to be able to create a new beginning between the two because i really feel like uh you may think that this person all they want is you know the sexual side they think that all you want is the sexual side and i feel like that is what's causing here the conflict and so i feel like that's why your guides are really asking you to be clear on what you want right and cross watchers same thing for you you know um we have codependency And I feel like this is kind of the the opposite, especially yeah, especially with retreat. It's like too much independence here, and like 
oh no, I cannot fall in love. Oh no, please go away. You know, and a lot of trust issues. I really feel it from that um, past person. Uh, maybe you also have that, but I feel like there could be some cross watchers here. So it's like, let go of this, those trust issues, okay? Allow yourself to trust and love and let go of that past person and allow yourselves to fall into each other's arms and to fall in love with each other. Um, this is so beautiful because this, like, this can really go places, all right? And I feel like you're both, I feel like you both need to be a bit codependent here, <laughs> you know? I feel like you're both so independent and so, like, four of pentacles, right? Holding back and trying to push each other away, even. Um, and it's like, that's not the case. You actually need to get together, all right? Ah, go love this person, Taurus Gemini. I really love this. I really, really love this. And be sure that this person is going to love you back. They may have a few um hesitations at first especially insecurities and especially trust issues but talk about it you know be honest have a really solid honest conversation with each other i feel like that is going to be important okay so i love it very much this is what i have for you don't forget to go check out those pick a cards those 18 plus pick a cards because my god uh and um what else if you're if this reading resonated more than anything don't forget to smash like button for me and to subscribe i would really appreciate it that is the easiest way for you to support me if you want to support me a little further uh there is a patreon below for self-care community and you can also check out my prior readings the link is going to be down below for us to figure out what is going on here in a more in more depth okay so love you very much i wish you the best and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye